or three years and by popular demand I'm back and by popular demand I mean my aunt <laughs> my friends <laughs> my parents telling me to come back on YouTube <laughs> so that yeah so today we're gonna take it back to the basics and I'm just gonna do just how I do my foundation I have combination skin so if you do want to see how I achieved my foundation today, I do like my foundation more dewy, more glowy, more natural looking, more like skin. Um, if you do want more of a matte foundation, I'll do a future video upon that as well as you can always just add more powder. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you would just want to see how I got this foundation look, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to wash your face and apply all your moisturizers as well. Next, you want to put a primer on. So if you have dry skin, you want to use a hydrating primer. If you have oily skin, you want to use a mattifying oil control primer or anything that's not going to add a bit more oil moisture to your skin. Unless you want to, then go for it. So I like this one for moisturizing. This is the Natasha Denona face glow primer and then this one is the elf pore putty it really works for all skin types from what i have seen i'm not 100 percent sure there might be someone out there that didn't work for them and i'll use these two i'll apply this one all over my face and this one right on my t-zone So I like warming it up first with my fingers just to make sure it's all melting so before I put it on my face. That way it assures me that I'm not adding too much product onto one spot. Okay, so this part is optional. If you want more of a glowy look, I do recommend this part though. It does help. If you want more of a matte look, don't do this part. So I'm going to go in with the Vanessa Myers Limiting Veil. I absolutely adore this product so, so, so much. And a, oh, there's something else. And a little bit does go a long way. So look at that. Next, I like going in with a color corrector. So any peachy tone is going to neutralize any dark circles, dark spots, so anything blue hue. For color correcting, you do want to use the color wheel. So anything, like not anything, any color opposite to the color you want to correct, it's going to be what you're going to use. So for blues, we're going to use orange. And then for reds, we're going to use green. So this has a green tone to it. It's not full on green. I feel like that's just a bit too much for my face at least. So I like using something that has a green tone to it. So both of these colors are going to be from the Joe Blasco Color Correctors. So after I'm done color correcting, I like going in with a contour shade. I like doing it under my makeup. I feel like it just looks more natural and doesn't give you that harsh line right there. I will sometimes go in with a little bit more, a powder one, and just put it on top of it. So before you start highlighting and contour, you do want to know your face shape. So I have a square oval face shape, so I contour for that face shape. Get 
So for contouring as well, you don't want to pass. You can either go by your eyebrow or your outside of your eye, depending what your eyebrow shape is also, but you don't want to pass right there. So I just want to take my contour to about here, if you can see that, and that's it. You don't want to bring it down unless you're trying to like elongate your face or everything. It's all about what your face shape is and what you want to achieve. So my camera just stopped filming, but all I did was just do my foundation. The foundation I did use was the Vanessa Myricks Vision Cream. My color is three. Yours might be different than mine because I'm a bit pale, very pale. And I just mixed it with two drops of my beauty oil. And I just applied it all over with a beauty blender. So you want to do a sheer layer. Your whole face does not need the same coverage. But I do have, as you can see, still blemishes showing through. I also have this patch right here that doesn't take makeup. I don't know why. I have tried numerous things upon it and it just doesn't like to take makeup. So I have to go really gently on that spot if not it just comes off if anyone else also has that problem make me seem like not a weirdo help me so i still have some acne pimples whatever it's showing through because it's quarantine and i've been eating a lot of chocolate even though i know chocolate makes me break out but i haven't really cared I'm not going anywhere i like chocolate it sucks but so i'm just gonna spot those and i'm just gonna go in with my natasha they know that Transfix Concealer. I love this one because it is self-setting, so I don't have to go on top of it and add powder. Which is just going to emphasize the pimple more. And it is um, full coverage as well as it has collagen on it. It's really easy to blend out, so yay for the win. So this is my personal one, so I'm just going to go straight from the doe foot onto my skin. And a little bit does go a long way, so... So now with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in and just blend it out. I'm gonna to wanna to try to not touch exactly where the pimple is, just blend out and feather out the edges to get that maximum coverage right there where I want it. Okay, so now that I added that extra coverage where I needed it in spots, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put my concealer on under my eyes. Um, you can still see like my pimples. I mean, foundation covers color, it doesn't cover texture. And I personally, I don't mind if my pimples show through. I mean, everyone gets them, it's a pimple. Like, it's okay. It's seriously okay. I know with all these filters and stuff like that, you guys think a whole bunch of people don't have pores, don't have pimples, don't have texture, but reality, they do. So I don't really personally care if they show through. If you do wanna add more coverage to it, go ahead and just add to that one area. So I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. Um, I've really been loving this one. It's the Maybelline if, if I'm a horrible, like horrible reader horrible so it's this one and less is more if you do put a lot of product in those creases it is going to go into the crevices and it's going to emphasize your lines and everything so less is more and since we did color correct you don't have to add that much product so i'm just gonna go in there So the powder I'm going to be using is going to be the Nessa Myricks as well. I absolutely adore her line and it's the Evolution Powder in 01. And once again, you could use a sponge or a brush. I like using a sponge and I'm just going to pour a little bit in here and just dip my sponge into it and just put it on where I get oily. So where I want to mattify, which for me, it's my T-zone, mostly my chin and my nose my forehead doesn't really get oily but right here 
next to my nose. I don't know what this is called, but that part does. Okay, so after I'm done powdering, that pretty much is it for my foundation. Um, I'll do another video on blush, contour, highlight, all that jazz. But I just wanted to give the basics, just how I do my foundation, what you should know when getting a foundation, what you should know about your face type, your skin type, all that before you buy a foundation. This video is just taking it back to the basics for people that maybe aren't sure how to do their foundation, people that are starting off, new people, you never know, or that girl that just goes to the store and her foundation never matches and you're just like, sis. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. It does help me out and it just lets me know that you guys are enjoying this. If you guys do want to see like different content, different videos, maybe a makeup look, something else, just let me build upon that too in the comments or on my Instagram. So yeah guys, thank you so 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 much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You wanna come say bye? Oh, she's kidding. And all for the drinks and tears. I'm an adult, I promise. Bye!